while they're searching the water, I'm gonna walk over here and see what I can see. Oh yeah, you can see pretty far. That way, that way. I'm also gonna drag the nearest bugbear down the stairs and see if the snake is hungry. Um, you drag a bugbear down the stairs, sort of push it into the water. Uh, the snake does not eat it at this time. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> uh, who wants to give me investigation for the water? I'll do investigation, I'm the best. Can Tip do investigation? Yeah, if you want him to. 24. 24? Uh, that is easily enough. Uh, you take off some of your heavier equipment so it doesn't drag you down in the water. Uh, and then you go swimming out into the water. Um, and about 10 feet from shore and 20 feet down, you find the remains of a human uh, in the water. Uh, skeleton at this point. Uh, and on it, you find three jeweled gold rings and a wand yoink all that shit up and then bring it up to our magic appraiser see what they're saying you found a wand in the water yes what was the guy wearing Frito? uh everything else had long since deteriorated away okay so it was just a skeleton yes oh he was probably some sort of magical water mage or maybe he wasn't a water mage and that's why he's dead uh hmm he, he couldn't riz up the snake like Big Bobby. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't built like that. Well, what's, uh, are there any magical elements to these items? Obviously the wand probably does, but what can you tell them? Tell us about them, Gerald? Um, you mean Gundren. Gundren, sorry. I know all my voices sound exactly the same. Use your sonic uh, screwdriver on it. Uh, he actually has used all of his detect magic, so he'll just have to do artificer checks. First, it's for one of the rings. Uh, he got an 11. Looking over it, he can tell it's not magical. Uh, next one, same thing. Third one, as well, he can tell that all three of the rings are just decoration and they're not magical. Uh, they're just jewelry, fancy jewelry, probably worth a bit. Uh, he got an 18 on the last check, so he, as a dwarf, he's like, this is actually, these are all pretty well made. I'd say, depending on the merchant and their supply and the demand in the area, you could perhaps get 150 gold for each of them. I'm trying so hard not to say it. I stand where I am, I don't do anything. What about the, uh... Yeah, you got a 19 on the die, which is a plus 5 for Arcana. He looks over it, read, like, the runes, he reads them, the text it. This is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, a wand of magic missiles. Magic missiles, you see. Wand of Magic missiles, oh my. I'm about to release a magic missile in a second if we don't move. <laughs> uh, to tune to the wand to use it? No, I don't. Uh, probably not. Avada Kedavra! But it does have limited charges, and I believe you have to... Uh, if I use after its last charge, and I get a one, then it dies. Yep. Also, if you have this equipped and your rapier, you can't, like, cast magic, I think, because you need to use your hands for some magic stuff. And, and if you have this and your rapier, you can't, like, use your dagger. So it's... Not as useful for me. Anyone else want it? It's something you have to attune to? No. Nope. I can't really use it. I'm holding a shield. Uh, Gerald fights two-handed, so he can't really use it either. <laughs> Mr. Bobby Magic Items, here he comes again. <laughs> Yeah. He's an addition to my collection. But he also has this... He's got them holstered like pistols. He has the <laughs> same issue where if he carries that in the rapier, he... Oh, yeah. We can just sell him, it. honestly, Frito. Though, might... I have been letting Robert, like, have his rapier out, put it away, and start strumming magic on his loot immediately, so... Whatever we do with them, we can make that decision later. But you got a wand of magic missiles. Um, and you have... Uh, a few options for where you go next, either uh, back to the Northern Passage and continue down the hallway, or south where uh, Oris is exploring. I vote for south just because I can literally see three different little cubbies that probably have enemies in them. Sounds good to me. We're the cubby patrols. Alright, uh, you guys start making your way south. Oris in the lead, I assume? Sure. Those two... Robert, are you following them, Robert? Or are you staying with your snake? Yeah, Robert's following. Uh -huh. You say a tearful goodbye to the snake. Is that 
Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Just making sure. Uh, you guys start heading south. Uh, you see this hallway do that as you walk south. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna have tip go invisible again. Wait, let me check to make sure he can do that twice. I think it's just an innate thing he can do. I'm gonna have him go invisible and just look around the corner and if he sees any enemies to scream any at me. All right. Uh, he nods, goes around the corner, he doesn't see any enemies. And he doesn't nod. Okay, then I'll walk around the corner. All right, so you walk around the corner. Uh, it's a dead end. Cool. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with this little corridor. Are people keeping up with Oris? I'll uh, keep up, but also stay uh, close to my boy that I talked with. Whose name you remember? Oh, yes, of course. Young boy. <laughs> Young uh, boy never he broke He is still invisible. He doesn't... Uh, he doesn't... You don't hear any reaction from him. All right, I look. You see that. Uh, <laughs> also, you can see behind you that this one is also a dead end. Interesting. This is, they're prob they look like the same similar sort of cave-ins from the other ones, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have them fly over here and do the same thing both directions. Also, do I see uh, this, anything more this way? The ceilings here are only six feet high, so it's shorter than other areas of the mine have been. So you guys are, oh. some of you are having to like crouch down a little bit. Never been so happy to be 5'8". And several of the passages end in rock faces. Uh, you can make me just like a straight intelligence or wisdom, whichever one you prefer. Uh, I'll go with intelligence and get a 13. 13. Anyone else want to roll? I'll roll. I'll always down roll the dice. A 19. 19. You believe this must have been the old mine. Mm. So this is where they were actually mining stuff. I'll relay that to the rest of the group. All right. Uh, tip. Turns the corner and okay, he does not say anything. Do I see anything in this direction? Um, yes. Uh, can you uh, point your arrow that way? Again? So, so you can see this, probably a little bit of that, where your vision gets cut off by walls and stuff. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna motion the party to come over to where I am. Right, the party comes down towards you, I assume. Let's okay. go. So Tip says that. There's no enemies immediately down this hallway. We could continue down this mine shaft, I guess, and see where it leads. Maybe we could split up briefly. I feel like more enemies have been in the hallways. Yeah. So I'd go down the hallway. <laughs> okay. Well, first let me get... I'm going to have Tip fly down here and see if there's any enemies. The sacrificial lamb. Uh, he... <clears throat> doesn't say anything. Okay, well, I don't think there's any enemies down there. Let's go to the hallway, I guess. And that's this direction? Yeah. All right, you make your way down this way. You now see another dead end to the north, uh, and to the south, also another dead end. And you can see a little bit in this direction, a little bit this way. I guess I motion everyone over again. Soon All the right. Follow. And as they come around the corner, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights in front of me and sort of motion them to the two... You're going to just... turn all the lights on? Not all the lights, just some Yeah, lights. he found the light switch and just... <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm just going to have them out floating out in front of us so that Robert and Finn can see the two ways we could go and I'll let the group make a decision on where we want to go. Oh. Thoughts? What are we feeling, boys? The right's looking uh, pretty sexy. Right it is, then. Right. Uh, you go to the right, which is this way. Uh, do you do the familiar tactic of sending the tip on ahead? Sure. Uh, this time he moves over here and says, Anime! 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 Anime? Anime. Tip, where have you learned all these words? It's fucking bullshit. Somebody's been training him. I'm, I'm gonna figure out which one of you it is. Watching you, father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... I'll, I'll say... Uh, tip sees enemies. Let's go! Power Rangers, assemble! And I'm gonna run around the corner. Run around the corner? Uh, you run around the corner, revealing to the south more tunnel options. And down this way, because you can see quite a distance. More tunnel options. 
Mm. Uh, and you can feel a little bit this way. Um, what the fuck? See. What do these hallways look like? What is the point of all these intersections? Uh, this is just like in Minecraft, where you mine, you see some ore, and you start going in that direction. Um... This is literally mine shafts. Okay. And you see standing what in front of you a uh, horrific jelly-like creature. Oh my! The cum beast. <laughs> you see this orange ooze slowly creeping towards you as we are going to go up initiative. I'll say people started moving when you said that, so people are a little bit closer. Uh, Fritos first. You can walk around the corner, be like, what in the fuck is that thing, and just sh instantly shoot a firebolt at it. Alright. Uh, 21. 21 hits. Uh, wow, 8 damage. 8 fire damage. You sort of you, the fire hits it and then like goes into it and is like absorbed by the fire. I that's not good. But you do burn away some of the jelly like slime from the hallway. Anything else? Can I attack again? No. Oh, okay. I'm good then. Oh yes. Anything else for your first turn? Any movement or bonus action? Oh dang, I just shit my pants. No, I'm good. Alright, then we'll go to your second action because you got a natural 20. So now you have another turn of full everything. I'm going to do a chromatic orb and do cold damage. Cold damage, all right. Give me a roll. Shit. It's going to be a 12. 12 hits. Oh, 12 hits. Nice. What level are you casting this at? Uh, oh, you only can cast that first. Level no, one. never mind. Uh, 13 damage. 13 cold damage as part of the jelly freezes and cracks off shatters upon the floor uh that brings us to oris okay well uh, hearing robert declare it as the great cum beast um i'm going to say hell nah i'm gonna yell out robert bring that port over here <laughs> four five so oh, i want to be able to hit it so i guess can i hit it from here uh no can i hit it from here yeah okay i'm gonna shoot it and then i'm gonna move that's the smart thing to do yeah all right, give me a roll. Nine. Nine hits. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love these kind of monsters. All right, six damage. Ooh, your uh, eldritch energy blasts into it, blasting away another part of this creature's physiology. Can I see anything in this direction now? Um, yes. Gonna assume uh, mine shaft. You see more mine shafts, and then I'll also reveal to you that over here is another dead end. Aha! Uh -huh. Any other beasts in this direction? Uh, not that you are seeing. No. Ah, uh, so there's some that I'm not seeing. You're saying? Uh huh. Um, there's quite a deal of map left, and you haven't found the spider. Yeah, I really hope this thing's not the fucking spider. <laughs> Why did they call you that? All right. All right. Uh, that's my turn. Oh wait, tip. Nothing with do tip. Something. Yep. Uh, he's still invisible. So, yep. he'll just fly with me. Fly with you? Not gonna have him attack? Nope. Not this All right. time. That brings us to Finn, who can't really see anything. So, you know that he knows there's an enemy, so he's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the sixth step, he's like, oh, shit. Cummies! As he you know, sees this like jelly-like substance in front of him, and he is going to stab. They call this beast the go. facial. All right. He crits. He got a 19 on the die, and I believe I made him a champion, so that is a crit. Yep. On a 19, champion. he crits. Oh, yeah. Four, he does 14 piercing damage to this substance. He sort of just rips. And, like, when you, like, attack Jello, if you, like, poke your finger into it, you know how you just sort of, like, destroy it? Yeah, that's what happened, essentially. Uh, and then he will follow that up with whacking it with the butt of his spear. Uh, and he got a nat 20 on the die. So he crits again. Uh, this man got <laughs> scared shitless and then just started whacking the shit out of this creature in front of him. So he's going to do nine bludgeoning damage to uh, the jelly-like substance. And all the movement you once saw in the <laughs> viscosity just sort of crumbles out of it as he kills the creature. Oh, shit. Yeah, he had uh, he attacks with the one type of damage, uh, melee wise that uh, it's not immune to. So no, you, want... <laughs> you don't even know if this thing was actually alive. The only confirmation you have that it was an enemy was Tip possibly might have seen it move. Yeah, 
Because <laughs> you guys realized it existed and then immediately sprung into action and murdered it. So Good job, Finn. You killed the last great cum beast. They're extinct now. Everyone gets 75 experience from that. We didn't even get to read it porn. Did not. Finn, more like fun killer. More like him. <laughs> <laughs> Finthony Chalamet. <laughs> oh, Fim Fimothe. I forgot what the guy's name was. God damn it. All right. Um, Feminine. Yeah. So that creature is now dead. Uh, are you going to continue to explore this area? Let's investigate the station. Investigation station. Woo. Are you investigating the creature or just like continuing to walk around the mine? Yeah, I mean, it seems like this area is just one big series of mine shafts. So I just guess we just walk around until we've discovered the whole section of this right. area. Um, uh, you walk around the mine. I'll let people eventually decide what area they end in. Uh, but down here you see more dead ends and the path. The other path you could have taken at the beginning mm. out of the hole uh, where Gundren, the entrance you came in was. Uh, and then down here by the stridges where you came up is another dead end. Uh, there's another dead end over here. Uh, and then the things of interest you notice, besides a lot of dead ends, um, because it's a mine, uh, is you notice one flight of stairs here going up a door, uh, a door to the east, the stairs to the north, uh, and then you also down this hallway. Notice a hallway. All right, so we just spent yeah. like a, up. an hour looking around. Yes. Do we find any loot or anything? Uh, Should we investigate? Uh, no, it looks like most of this area... Uh, was stripped clean of anything valuable when the miners were here, and you assume a lot of what you saw or wise in the furnace area came from here. Right. So, okay, not a lot is. We didn't find any dwarf bodies. Uh, no, surprisingly, there were no bodies in this area. You assume the creature, possible creature you fought, consumed their corpses, because as an adventurer, you know a lot of the gelatin and jelly and slime-like monstrosities dissolve their food in their bodies. But this wasn't a and gelatinous they... cube, right? No. Okay, so it's some other kind of weird jelly monster. The Great Cum Beast, obviously. Um, okay, fellas. I mean, you can do a nature check to see if you figure out exactly what it is. Sure. 21. 21. You realize it is a ochre jelly? An O-C-H-R-E? Oshri? Jelly, uh, that is uh, just a like generic slime monster sort of thing. Oh, crrr. yeah, exactly. Um, so where do you Ochre end up jelly. from your exploration? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Um, the stairs are calling to me, but what do you guys think? The eastern door, or the northern stairs, or the northern door, southern direction, or Back the towards. other hallway over here. Might be good oh, just yeah. to clear out the entire first floor before we start going up to another one. Okay, fair. Do we want to just go to the eastern door and see what we find then? I love doors. If you go up to the door, Robert, remember to knock. Okay. I'm pretty I sure that was the only door reason door. the bugbears attacked us. Definitely, I got this. I'll go knock on the door. Someone lead me to the door. Okay, I grab his hand. <laughs> uh, grab his hands. Uh, guys are sort of over there. Over back a little bit uh you can place yourself where you want to nick so you knock on the door right yes sir okay uh you just hear like a terrifying unearthly scream and growling and then you hear the thumping of stuff on the feet as you hear creatures barreling towards the door is that hey, we should step back is that hey you can come in in whatever okay yeah i run i run ah! uh and then bursting out of the door you will it's kirby see <laughs> some creatures he's gonna suck me <laughs> i hope he doesn't uh, suck you see this me. what the undead fuck? monstrosity it's jaws unhinged <laughs> it's skin uh, uh it, it all it's over skin this. <laughs> Pale and rotting, its eyes piercing icy blue as it bursts through the Holy door and just shit. sees all of you and and just sort of screams an unterrifying scream and uh not unterrifying, terrifying scream. 
absolutely terrifying scream. I started. I was terrified, but now. Oh, I'm hold on, that's not that scary. Okay. So we are going to have initiative. Uh, oh my more. god! So There's weird. some creatures in this world uh, who uh, just don't respect knocking. The first up and reacting as these creatures burst through the door. This is what you see bursting through the door uh, at you guys, but without the ominous man. Ugh. Oh god. Um, they look dead then? Back. Yes. Joe <laughs> uh, is the first to react. Uh, so he barges forward one, two, three, and then he can see into the room a little bit and notices there are more of these creatures inside. There's more coming! And then you see him uh, swing his sword There's at the coming? creature in front. Uh, he got an 11 plus 8, so he got a 19, which hits. Um, and detecting the nature of these creatures, he's going to use... Are making an assumption that I, as the DM, know the answer to because I'm <laughs> playing way too many characters. Um, he's Me going to die. use... Uh, a divine smite now that he hits. So he will do uh, four d6s and three d8s. So he does 30 damage as he his sword is not only glowing in regular fire, but also holy fire, and he brings it down on this creature and just bisects it as it dies. Sometimes it's very helpful to have a paladin with you. Uh, and then he moves forward so only went one two three four and he attacks again uh he hits again he is also once again going to use another divine smite 29 plus five he does 34 damage and bisects another one of these monstrosities as he kills another one this fucking guy um and he's going to step into the room to provide people opportunity to come in revealing the rest of the room so gerald sees this but i'm just going to describe it to you now as well old stone bunks and orderly rows line the walls of this chamber and a corroded iron brazier full of cold coal stands near the middle of the room the bones of half a dozen dwarves and larger bandits lie strewn about still clad in scraps of armor three gray hunched figures fight at you as they attempt to feed once again and seven bugbears have another sleepover. <coughs> We're 18 naked cowboys on the bunk. Uh, that is Gerald's turn. Uh, up next is uh, uh, the one remaining creature who's going to try to attack Gerald. Get Gerald. His ass. I finally called him Gerald again. The Witcher. All right, he. Okay, that is fucking pointless. Um. Oh. Uh, the creature bites at Gerald, gets a nat 20, looks like it's going to do an immense amount of damage, and then some magical effect of the armor nullifies that and makes it a normal amount of damage. I forgot Gerald can't be critted for half a second. I forgot that. So he still will take an 8 damage. That brings to Gundren. I'm not moving. If he tries to move past me, I'm not letting him. Okay, then he's just going to sit here. It's your turn, Norris. Perfect. Or is to the rescue. I'm gonna run into the room and jab my blade into this undead. I'm sick and tired of these fucking zombies! One thing you know for sure, these ain't zombies. Uh, 15. That hits. <coughs> Alright, that's gonna be 9 damage. It still stands. I guess I'll move here so people can get in if they want. Uh, mm. uh Frito is next. Um, if I move here, can I shoot a firebolt at this manse? No. Actually, I guess if I move here, can I shoot a firebolt at the manse? You can, you'll have disadvantage. If I move into the room, I cunning action, disengage, step back, three, firebolts, bang, will I have disadvantage then? Yeah, so that's 30 feet. So yeah, you can do that. I attack, fight and blast! Rolling, 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 rolling. Baboosh. Uh, 18. That hits to do uh it's gonna be eight damage eight damage all right the creature is singed bleeding heavily uh but it still stands uh that's you robert all right i run in the direction that he just ran <laughs> oh, yeah you can't see slam uh, into guess... the corner hello everybody when you're near gerald his sword is giving off like 
probably ten feet of light. So and that's the same shit I'm giving up. Stab him. Stab. All right. Give me a roll. I got a fifteen. Fifteen hits. Eleven stabby damage. All right. You. Uh, how do you do it? How do you kill the creature? I crouch down and I stab him up in between his legs. Shish kebab him. You shish kebab this creature and it collapses to the ground. Dead. <sighs> Anyone want to see what type of creatures these are? Sure. Right, Let's see what we got. Nature. Gerald will do it with uh, 10. <laughs> and 11 for both. Anyone beat a 15? Nope. Nope. Andrew? I can actually see you. I got a 16. 16? You looking at these creatures, uh, especially the one you're like physically standing on, uh, <laughs> recognize that these aren't zoo, zoo, these aren't zombies. I was combining the two words into one, <laughs> uh, but a different type of undead called a ghoul. The ghouls have been slaughtered. Uh... Which I are think. from the abyss. Ooh. Does Apparently. Robert tell us this? No. Nope. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least you guys know these are ghouls. Now. Uh, I don't know if he tells you that part, but you, the party, you, the actual D&D players, know these are ghouls. Everyone gets 100 XP from that. From my teachings, I know these to be Zools. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, some I, weird looking zombies, right, guys? I completely Good. accidentally butchered that. Uh, what are you guys on for experience, the main party? Seven, three, seven, five. Okay, just making sure I'm keeping Gerald up to snuff. Um, you want to snuff yeah. Gerald? That is the creature. I only area. read a hentai. I don't read snuff. Can I search the room for loot? Uh, yes, give me investigation. I would also like to search. I would also like to search, yes. Unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Twenty. Um, you search the room, and all you can find are the scraps of metal still clinging to the ghoul's feast. There's nothing worth taking in the room. Ugh, foul beasts. Indeed. <laughs> Gerald, the man who just like straight up killed two of them in one and two blows, is like, yes. Some help the other two, were I? Well, I thought. Not everyone specializes in killing the, the undead. No, some of them just specialize in talking my ear off. <laughs> All right. There is a little bit of exploration left in the cave. So where do you head? I'll go over to this door. Remember to knock. I knock. Nothing happens. Okay, I kick it open. Kick it open. <laughs> uh... You kick open oh. the door. Uh, Just as I suspected, there's a hallway. There's a hallway that you saw earlier. And you can actually oh see God. down to the old mine entrance. Uh, people f follow, I assume? Hell yeah. Tip, go check around the corner for enemies. All right, Tip is still invisible, I guess. Walks over here and doesn't say anything. Oh my God, he's died. No, I'm going to go look as well. All right, you go peer down to the hallway. You see... Another hallway, as well as another room at the end. Another opening cabin. Oh. Hold on, I gotta zoom out to get the full picture. Interesting. Okay, so this is some, there's some bullshit going on here. If no one else comes over, I'll send Tip to go look over here. Uh, Tip looks down that hallway and does not say anything. I will slowly creep down the hallway and look. Everyone else is sort of just watching you, I guess, unless people want to be following. <laughs> oh. All right, Gerald will follow with Robert. The fellow. Gundry and so like pulling up the rear. Uh, you notice another room here uh, and a door uh, in the room as well. I don't know why, but I'm getting the sense that this is some sort of prison. Doesn't it kind of feel like we it's were probably... prisoners the whole time? <laughs> it's the probably Eastern because the wall map... of this chamber has collapsed into a massive rubble. To the north, a door stands ajar, leading to a different room. Oh, it's open. Yes. No, it's ajar. <laughs> no, it, the door stands on a jar. I thought that's what he said. Oh, I stand jars too. 
All right, I guess I'll send Tip over to the door. He doesn't say anything. Okay, this time I'm definitely convinced he's dead. No, I'm going to walk over and look. <laughs> uh, you open the cool door and look inside, and you notice what remains of a storeroom. Uh, dusty kegs are tucked neatly against the walls, all of them split open from age. I teleport into the room and do an <laughs> investigation check. <laughs> uh, not even having to roll. Uh, looking through all the barrels, everything that was once in here has turned to dust in the three. No. Uh, since someone was last here. Fuck. What a rip-off. You monsters. Uh, but give me a perception check in snow. A nature check? Yeah, give me a nature check. Perception Anyone check in to. snow? I don't see any snow. Uh, Four. Four. Six. Six. Oh. Uh, Gerald got a nat 20. Uh, so he looks around and says, based off the terrain and the fact that we can barricade the door and that this looks secure and there's no monsters in here, this might be a good place for us to take a longer rest if we need to without worrying about creatures roaming in. What's the ceiling look like? I'll, uh, this room looks like it survived the 300 years very well. Uh, it doesn't look like it's in any danger of collapsing or anything like that. But the door was open when we came over here, so that means somebody's been around here at some point in the last 300 years. <laughs> Probably the spider, or they just never locked it. True. Maybe wind blew it open. Okay, I, I agree. I think we should take a rest. Uh, I'm pretty okay, but get our fighters back up to snuff. Yeah, I, I think it would be good for all of us. So, uh, do you look to take a long rest in here? You guys want to take a long rest? Uh, that's pretty much what you'd have to do for some people at this point. Specifically, Gundren and Finn, because they didn't level up, so they haven't taken any sort of long rest, and Gerald has used most of his hit die. Okay. Yeah, we can take a long rest. Robert's going to cast Tiny Hut, where he's standing, just covering the door. What does Tiny Hut do? It makes a dome of whatever color I decide, where whoever's inside when I cast it can move within... In and out as they You're please, and whoever's the outside can't go in. Dome of force, so that the door can't be opened. Mm -hmm. And it lasts eight hours, which is as long as a long rest. Congratulations, you've successfully barricaded the door with very little work. <laughs> um, uh, you, I guess you use some of the barrels to make like a small fire, so you can heat up some rations and stuff. Um, and then to prevent any smoke inhalation damage and stuff like that, the air genasi just absorbs the smoke into his body. <laughs> Uh huh. Because that's all smoke is. That's yummy. Nom 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 nom. Flavored air. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. Everyone can take a long rest. Why is the air spicy? Prepare uh, an action of that when we get up. I'm going to use Inspiring Leader to motivate us before we head out the door. Don't need to prepare that, but okay. You, you just tell me you're going to do it when you wake up. He has an Inspiring Leader. God damn right. Yes. You can do that once upon awaking. Um, so everyone takes a long rest, recovers their energy, Finn thanks you all as he takes off his bandages and starts, like, sort of cleaning his body, um, of the dried up blood and stuff, and bandaging himself up more appropriately instead of hastily. Um, any RP people want to do in the eight hours? Uh, that does mean your plus one shield is now just a regular shield, or at the end of the eight hours. Uh, and I would, I... With how long you guys have been in here and the fact that you already took a different short rest, I'd say your darts are no longer plus one as well. Um, but everyone is back at full health. I'm at 10 less health than I was at. Oh, I just meant like the cave in its entire... Uh, but yes, now, uh, you guys wake up in the morning, you get an inspiring speech from Frito. What is that speech? For 10 minutes. From, from until 4.52, you have to talk. Nick, go. RP the entire 10 minutes. Tell us. As soon as we step out the store, you encounter the belly of the beast. You have seen many trials and tribulations, had many conflicts externally and internally in this time. This has brought some of us together. This has brought some of us apart. In spite of all that, we are here. We are strong. We have recovered from the ailments that faced us. And now, who knows? We might have the chance to finish this. Very hard to tell what will lie ahead from this point on. 
One thing I know is that I have faith in everyone in this room to get the job done. Despite our differences, I think when push comes to shove, we will all back each other up in support and unison of our shared goal. Some of us are motivated by a desire to see this place brought back to its glory days. Others are motivated by the financial gain that will come from all of this. I uh, I find myself more in the latter camp, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Other people might have found a new friend deep within this cave that they can uh, enjoy with them, perhaps for uh, days ahead. But <laughs> one thing we cannot do, brethren, is get our guard down. If we lower our guard, we fall right into the trap that is being let on. I think we can all be proud of what we've achieved so far in that many of the enemies we've faced didn't stand as much of a chance. And for the times that we have been tested, we now have fully recovered and persevered through these. It's time to forge ahead, to save this forge. And one thing I ask of all of you, to be brave, be strong, and have your friends' backs. Maybe they aren't your friends. You can't wait to never see a specific person ever again. But until that day happens, we must stick together. Come on, brothers. Let's do this. Let's go out this door. Let's kick some fucking ass. Hmm. Well, how much HP do we get, by the way? Uh, 10, 10 HP. Gundren, like Frito says, whatever happens after the spiders dealt with happens. We can deal with that then. But until that time, we must have each other's backs. I've never acted against you in combat, and I will continue to not. Good. Oh, shall we mosey on? Yeah, I mean, shit. It feels like we're... Do we want to come up with a plan for what we do when we stumble upon this spider? Like, do we want to just willy-nilly wing it and see what fucking happens? Or is there anything in particular we want to... Feed him to the snake! <laughs> if you can find a way to get the snake up here. Um, or down here, rather. Um, what about, like, do we have any, do we want to, I desperately want to know if he knows anything about Rooksithid, but I don't know how to go about getting that information. Well, we can, um. We can torture him. We can okay. do that. Perhaps the spider might be willing to talk before we go into combat. Yeah. I think we play right, off right, the right. vibe the spider gives us before we just start, I mean, obviously... We have our motives, they have theirs, yeah. but let's let's follow the vibe they set out. If they just want to throw hands, then let's just do that. Right. I'll start getting ready to torture him. There's a, there's a chance we walk in there and he does that super villain thing where he's like, ha ha ha, you've impressed me, heroes. And then tries to, like, worm his way out of the situation. But back up plan, we torture him and take his toes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right, who wants to who wants to lead us into glorious battle? I feel like Let's after that go. speech, it has Robert to be fr sprints out of the room and okay. <laughs> amazing. Carol tries to keep up with you and stop, stops you. <laughs> Grabs you by the collar, yanks it so hard that you your head with his off. twenty strength, he just. <laughs> I say with that speech, Frito should lead the way. I will lead us into glory. All right, uh, where are you heading? Over here. Yes, sir. Over here. I've said the two places left to explore. Oh! Encampments divide this cavern into three sections high ledges at either end, and a lower section in the middle that you currently stand in. Carved stone stairs climb to the ledges. Two large tables stand in the middle section, along with a pair of old braziers. A small table stands on each eastern ledge. The skeletal remains of a Dozens of dead warriors attest to the fearness of the fighting that took place long ago. Uh, Robert, you set, step in the room? Yeah. Right, you step in. As soon as Robert steps in, uh, uh, Gerald also reignites his sword as he comes with you guys because he has to do that or else it doesn't work. As soon as the light shining from uh, Robert's chest sort of illuminates into the room, you once again hear the. <laughs> That you hired once upon a time in the ghoul area. Oh shit. 
Oh, uh, shit. And you see rushing uh, down these stairs and bursting uh, up from the top area a pack of ghouls rushing towards you. Uh, roll for initiative. Uh, so the ghouls are first. Uh, they can... Ah! Oh my god! Why god. zombie? One, two, three. I believe these two are the only ones who can attack. One's going to go after Frito. Oh lord! Uh, it got a four, so it misses. The other one ah. is going to go after Robert. It got a uh, 14, which I believe also misses you. Fucking bitch. Uh, next up is Gundren, who uh, is in range of this one all the way out there. So he's going to shoot it. He hits it. Uh, he does eight damage to that first ghoul. That is Gundren's turn. His robot is going to move up in front of him, so he can't get through anywhere else, or you're up. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this old boy to the east of me is about to get a mouthful of blade. That, uh, to me, to you guys, that was, like, probably the scariest thing you guys have seen in this cave. You heard the thumping of ghouls and their screeching come at you. Combat <laughs> started. They got a nat 20, and they just full-on sprinted across this room at you and then missed horribly so that part was fine screechy little ghouls running out from the darkness that's the name of my next autobiography so right, you're I'm going after uh this one or this one uh the eastern one yeah uh eastern. 24 to hit is that a natural 20 no all right you hit what what is their ac because i have a plus eight to my hit with wraith um you don't have to tell me i got nine on damage nine no and I'm also going to have Tip fly up above this one and attack it as well. Uh, he's not invisible, I don't think, because it would have broken during the long rest, and we never reestablished he was invisible. True. Um, so he'll take two attack of opportunities as he flies okay, I'm away. I'm not going to do that. He'll just attack the one to his left then, I guess. One to his left. Um, so that's going to be natural 20. Natural 20 hits? Uh, con miss, save, right? Yeah, make a con save. And then... All right. What do we what do with natural 20? 20? I haven't rolled a natural 20 in combat in so long, I don't remember what we do. Um, so he does a d4? Yeah. So he'll do four, and then you roll another dice and add that to it. Uh, and you're plus modifier. Okay, so four plus three plus three, so ten... And damage. What are they trying to beat with the concept? An 11. An 11? They got uh, uh, 14. Okay, so they're going to they take still... half of half. 3d6. Which will be 5. So 15 damage. Damn. Pierces into Tips the better than I am. ghoul and pumps the poison into the creature. Does poison uh, skin, damage it? The skin blackens around it. It seems to not slow it down any. So no, it doesn't. So the five poison damage does nothing. I I I played it well though, right? Leading you on the entire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I assumed it wouldn't, but when you let me roll it, I was like, maybe there's ghouls are different, but yeah, that makes sense. No, nah, I was I the first time at least, right? Got to be a surprise. Yeah. Um, Finn is up next. He literally cannot get to anyone. <laughs> he doesn't want to throw his spear, so he is. Can he just crowd to surf to the enemies? No. No, that's Robert. Big Bobby. Big Bobby's going to hit him with the shatter. He's going to need two to make Khan save. Where are you putting the shatter? Over here. And it's a 15-foot radius? So you're putting it right there to hit these two? Yeah. Constitution saves, you said? Yes, sir. What are they trying to beat? 15. Um, They both fail. Ah, 20 shatter damage each. 20 shatter damage. Oh, my God. 20 shatter damage. Uh, one just sort of gets blasted apart by the force of the thunder damage, which is the correct terminology for the type of damage you're doing. So these are the only creatures in this room? Uh, currently that are attacking you, yes. So, <laughs> the one fucking section we didn't loot at the top is probably the place where all the main bad guys are. Or the spider's just not in here. Oh, that's crazy. That's, that's the conclusion you have reached. Jesus Christ. 
that the area where the changeling was running to is probably where the bad guy was. I, uh, I don't even fucking remember that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, you kill uh, one of the ghouls, the other one is still alive. Any bonus actions? Or um, movie? Can I bonus action facepalm? Uh, in real life, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Frito, that's you. Frito is going to finish, try and finish uh, this feller off. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, uh, 26. Yeah. 26 hit? Yeah. Does 26 hit? What about 26? <laughs> How about 20, 25? That's what I actually got. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do 5, 6, 7, it's dead. uh, 13 damage. It's dead. <laughs> you pierce it right in the throat, and it, or in the brain, I guess, and it collapses over dead. No. Cunning action, disengage, and hop back here and end my turn. Nice. All right. Gerald is up next. He is going to attack this one. He misses. He got a 3 plus 8, which is an 11, and that misses. So he's going to attack again, and he hits this time with a 15. He will then do 4 d6s worth of damage. He does 6, 11, 12, 13, plus 5 for 18 damage to this ghoul as he bisects another one of your enemies. Bobble. He's very good at combat. And then he's gonna go one, two, three, and so sort of get over here. Uh, that brings us back up to the ghouls. Uh, one is going to go after Horus. One is going to go after Gerald. Does a 20 hit you, Dylan? Oh, yeah, 20. I cast shield. Cast shield. Wait, I don't have shield anymore. Never mind. It hits me. <laughs> Why don't, oh, what happened to shield? I replaced it with counter spell. Oh. Uh, these aren't mages. <laughs> I throw a shield at them. Yeah. No, that hits me then. <laughs> uh, you take six damage. Ah! Does it bite me? Uh, yes. Fuck. Where does it bite me? Uh, like in, on your arm. All right, I'm looking at it like I'm going to have to cut my arm off. Also, roll a con save. You know, booty cheek. Or wisdom save, or whatever it is that makes you now have to attack this ghoul. Yeah, come sword. Save. Four. Four. You have to kill this motherfucker. Ah! It's to bite you. You, you want that to kill bitch? Uh, the other one goes after Gerald and misses. So it bites into his armor, and he just looks at it like, you bit my metal armor, you dumb shit. <laughs> uh, then it's Gundren, who's going to... He has spell slots back. Can you do any bigger spells? No, because I gave him a whole bunch of... Buff, buffing spells that became useless because Nick uh, gave people stuff. Um, we got he's just gonna shoot. Uh, he's just gonna shoot. He's just gonna shoot. Uh, he hits and he does uh, five damage to the ghoul directly north of him. Uh, Ors. Um, I'm gonna stab the guy who bit me, <laughs> little bitch. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve hits. Huzzah! That's gonna be... 11 damage. Yes. I thought that was a 9 on a d6. I was like, holy shit! No. Uh, you and... heavily slash at the ghoul. Tip will also attack it. Oh. Give me a roll. Uh, 13. 13 hits. 3 damage. Wait, three plus damage. 3. 6 damage. 6 damage. Nice. I'm not even gonna bother to roll the poison. Good. It wouldn't do anything. Are uh, you... It pierces into him, causing more bleeding. Yes, uh, Get him! Ben can finally get involved, so he's going to come and attack the one you just attacked twice. Uh, he hits with his piercing and his spear, not the other one. Uh, he does uh, eight damage, killing the ghoul. Eight damage and Finn the human. Uh, next up is Rob People. Sorry. Is that a uh, brazier lit? No. I'll I don't know how I don't know how you though. cast the spell in an area. I just flung it in that direction. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting you are my blowing through here. Yeah. That's half your movement. Yeah. Let me. I'm gonna sit on the brazier. All right. And then I'm gonna stop up. All right. Give me a roll. Uh, natural twenty plus six. Yeah, you'll hit. So you're gonna do. D10? D8. Plus so you're going to do 8 and then roll another 8. Not, you're not going to roll another 8, but roll a D8 plus 3. I did roll an 8. Ah. 
Oh, so you'll do 19, 19. damage? Uh, you kill a ghoul. Uh, the head. The ghoul. 167 experience. What? What? I'm not going quite. Like to search the room! Uh, in, give me an investigation roll. Smart ass. I'm gonna invest. Twenty-seven. Right, Twenty-seven. Seven. Uh, you look around the room. And you do not find anything valuable. Uh, it seems uh, none of the people who died here had anything worth taking. And those that might have uh, could be in the bellies of the ghoul and dissolved by now. 